Measures against drug shortages. Pharmacists warning about delivery bottlenecks. The reason why there are 300 drug shortages in Germany when resources for the treatment of illnesses are missing. These are just a few headlines that were in the news in Germany lately. Based on these news, we were analyzing the European drug supply chain and its current problems. But first, the definition of drug shortage. It occurs when the demand for drugs is bigger than the supply of them, and when the condition lasts longer than two weeks. The supply chain contains five stages. The supplier, manufacturer, wholesale distributor, pharmacy and hospitals, and finally, the patient. The BFAM, Institute for Drugs and Medical Devices, oversees the drug shortages in Germany. The statistic shows that the number of shortages increased over the years and had its peak in 2022. The B farm has to be notified if a shortage occurs. It requires an entry in its database while the reason for the supply shortage has to be stated out of 11 options. In the current case, increased demand, problems with the production and insufficient production capacity are the main reasons. Here it can be seen where the main reasons are located in the supply chain. The active ingredient production was mainly in Europe and Switzerland in 1980. Now the production is mainly moved to Asia, more specifically to China and India. This relocation was mainly an issue because of the COVID-19 and lockdowns, because it results in problems with the production. RSV, influenza and scarlet fever were widespread in December 2022. Especially children were affected. And that's why an increased demand happened. Here it can be seen that 18% more of medicine was required for children. These two factors resulted in an insufficient production capacity at the manufacturer side. And the final outcome was a drug shortage. To check with the current situation in and around Munich, we did explorative interviews with six pharmacies. First, we got confirmed that the drug shortage happened to every pharmacy. Two pharmacies stated that they're having a shortage of more than 290 articles. Also, the typical mentioned drugs in the newspapers are missing, namely antibiotica, children's drugs for fever and cancer drugs. We also asked about the reasons for drug shortages. They named legal reasons as well as similar ones in the BFARM database. Next, we questioned them about their software. Everyone used one and they found it reliable because they can order up to four times a day without any issues. However, they have to track drug shortages in the supply chain manually, meaning they have to do internet researches or ask manufacturers. They are currently not supported by an early detection system provided by a software. Based on an article, we also decided to divide our solution strategy in three parts. Short, middle and long term. They are also content-wise divided into software and legal and logistic. The long term solutions require drug production in Europe and improving the legal and financial framework conditions. Legal changes are currently discussed in Germany. In the future, it should be possible to buy in patent-free drugs from Asia and as well from Europe. However, still the cheapest supplier has to be used. Also, for children's medicine, the bonding on discount contract should be removed. The middle-term solutions contain the global supply chain management and the production coordination among sites. The short-term solutions contain three points. Transparency evaluation system for the robustness and an early shortage warning system. The European Medicines Verification System contains information about every drug, namely those four. And 30 countries currently are represented in the system. The EU Hub is the database of the EMVS. The pharmaceutical companies upload the serial number of the medicine there. And then the secure farm system, the German database, can connect to it. Also, the pharmacy databases can exchange information with it. The wholesaler and the pharmacy 
can verify the drug on correctness and finally the drug can be sold to the patient. Every supply chain participant should have a database and they should be merged into two bigger ones. And those two should be integrated into a tracking and early warning system. This idea is based on an internet article that suggested a drug supply chain after COVID-19. Our idea combines both concepts, namely that the second database is the EU hub. We want to add more information, more specifically metadata, like the drug type. So then machine learning algorithms could be used for predicting shortages and therefore an early warning system would be available. We also attended the Forum Science and Health livestream. There, a shareholder and the president of the VFR confirmed our idea of using SecureFarm as a start point. As a next step, SecureFarm could be contacted and a software idea could be discussed. So more transparency in the supply chain could be achieved.